Hello everybody, Cone Dodger here, and welcome back to the Cone Landers League, week number two, which will be in Greece. We're looking at the season standings right now, where you will see I am in 74th place. That's why we're doing our own point system. Only the top 10 get points, and when we have 74 people, I can't even keep up with everybody. <laughs> uh, it's a little ridiculous to only pay points to the top 10, but congratulations to you top 10, you guys are insanely fast. But as mentioned today, we will be in Greece. It's going to be a shorter kind of event here. I picked three short stages on accident, basically. Normally I would do, if I was doing three, I would do a short, a long, and a short. But today we have a short, a short, and a short. Considering Greece is probably one of the least forgiving rallies in the whole game, I would say pretty much everybody's okay with it. All right, hopefully all the cameras are running and we are ready to go. Second gear. Right into it here off the start. In my Greece practice this... Well, today. Today is when I started practicing, to be honest. Um, notice that this car... Okay. Not a good start. Not a good start at all. As soon as you turn the camera on, you start doing worse. It's just how it is. I put in some good times at the stages I did. I put the AI on Elite and ended up, uh, I think I came in second in the event, so... Okay, missed the rock. So that's not too bad. Getting really bogged down right there. Hopefully I'll get back into a groove, though. Made one mistake. I didn't get anything to drink before starting this. And it's very late in the day and I've been uh, recording stuff all day. Might not be my most... Could have... Okay. Thought there was a bigger jump there. Again with no restarts on and the limited crew keeping the car clean. Priority number one. Into left five tight, don't come. I'm still having some throttle sticking six. issues. I need to right six, make sure I've got the dead zone set correctly. Overall, this car seems to hang in the RPM a lot. The RPMs don't come down very quickly. Still very... Okay, well, I think if we go back in the history of my series in dirt, you'll see I've never made that turn correctly. What I was going to say is uh, the car is still very surprisingly responsive for a rear-wheel drive 80s car. Really does well with... Uh, you know, just pointing the nose and letting it, letting it take you to the right direction. For some of the all-wheel drive cars, you kind of have to overpower them around. Give them lots of extra steering input. Let the front wheels pull you through the turn. Rocks on the inside, yeah. I remember this turn. Obviously, Greece has been in the game for the longest, and uh, at this point, I definitely start to recognize some of the crazier parts of the stages. Easy now. I regret wearing this jacket. I'm recording this, it's like 1 a.m. or so. And uh, we finally had our cold snap here in Florida. But nothing makes heat like the old dirt rally. I was a little greedy right there, wasn't I? That stage is almost over. Over in a flash. I think we're looking for somewhere in the... I get in the mid-12s. As far as overall time, I'd be happy. There's our first stage. The car looks like it's in one piece. A little bit of a mess up there at the early stages, but not too bad. 20 seconds down on the best time. That's 
Not as great as I was hoping, but not bad. I don't think that was near my best time. Just kidding. That was my best time. <laughs> I guess it was. 350? Is that what it was? I got the keyboard. Yep. Sure was. Cool. Yeah, that was the mess up. I remember it. It didn't need to show me again. 12th place. Alright, we're in target to kind of be where I want to be. Looks like we're in pretty familiar company. Starting to recognize everybody in here. There is Ducks in 22nd. Kurt's already done it. Yeah, he's in 27th. Spoilers. Alright, let's see what our one mechanic with this duct tape can do. Well, I mean, really, we got out of there pretty in pretty good shape, so he does alright. And I think that is all we need to do. Alright. Let's see what this stage four, has to offer us. Three, two, one, go. Oh, Ooh, nice start. Four, right on time. Into right five, half long, so cut, keep right on you might notice that Into I'm going to let long. this car... Into Wait, we just did this a little bit, didn't we? This is a little Stop. bit of a repeated part of the uh, part of the stage. Yeah, I think this is near the end of where we were midway. Anyway, you may notice I let it bang off the limiter a little bit. This car has a very high strung engine, small displacement, and a... So it makes all the power up top. And when you're just going to have to downshift again in a second, Jump, Seems like it's better to let it hang off the limiter a little bit. It can take it. Left two continues for 80 past layby. Into right six. Into crest Very jump, surprising eight, to me eight, how left over manageable right these rear wheel drive cars eight, are eight, on the dirt. And right two half long, don't cut. Left you would think it would be long, just all right, over the place, but. 80. As the slides go, it's very right, six, over manageable. Right. I have more problems with getting airborne than I do left six, uh, small spinning break. out. Left six, right section here. Right uh, it's pretty jump nicely done. A little bit wide. Right Alright, knocked off the rust pretty early. I'm starting to get back in the groove now. Oh, using all the course there. Yeah, you don't get it too terribly sideways, just a little bit. You get it too sideways and it'll bog you down. That's about right. Default setup is working pretty well here. Not having too much in the way of uh, rebound issues. I didn't notice in Finland is with this chest cam if you like notice when I'm taking deep breaths. So I usually uh, wait for sections I know that I'm going to have a a second to breathe, right and I'll take a deep breath. Oh, big rock. Never seen that rock before. That was a new one. Uh, we were having such a great stage till that point. Alright, get my head back on. Back on straight. Really didn't lose too much time in that, so don't make it worse by freaking out about it. It's too bad because I really like this section of Greece too. A little fast flips back and forth. I have to say, I am enjoying this format a lot because I'm getting to see so many different people's uh, videos, so many people approaching their runs on the subreddit. It's been great. Everyone's been really cool about it. Nobody's gotten like crazy over competitive and 
you know, upset about anything. So thank you everybody for making it as awesome as I hoped it would be. I might not get to watch everybody's runs, but I watched uh, quite a few. It's a different driving styles out there, a lot of different uh, driving configurations. Everybody seems to be having fun. That was fun. That was a fun way to end. <laughs> Man, if not for that roll, that would have been a really good stage. Could still could have been. Yeah, it was 24 back. That's. I think that is. It was a 426. No, my best is a 426. And that was a 428. So not too bad off my uh, off my best time. And that puts us. Come on. Up, oh, up to ninth. Wow. With this many people in, if I can get in the top ten. I would be one happy cone dodger. And a beep to you. Ah, no. No repairs. That stinks. Five, Who set up this thing? Four, oh, that was me. So we might be a little down on power this run. Oh, it's this stage. Alright. Uh, this this one I, I know pretty well. He says... Rolling on his roof, flipped over, can't find his keyboard, having to recover. Well, it's all over now, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> uh, so much for, so much for any hopes of the top ten. Greece, why are you so cruel? Come on, turn. Why, why you no turn, car? Come on. And engine's, engine's pretty down on power, too. Not helping matters. It's just a shame. <laughs> I thought I knew this stage pretty well. I was mistaken. Well, at least we waited, waited till the last stage, so I don't have to deal with the broken windshield the whole time. I'm starting to get back in the groove, but the car is definitely acting a little lethargic. That's a crazy jump. As is that one. Oh, come on now. Which is so important to stay in the smooth part. The edges of the track here are just so um, unforgiving. It's a difficult thing. Alright, now I think it starts to get pretty tight and technical. Yeah, use the hills banking. It's a strategy. It's probably not a good one, but it's a strategy. I think we've already had six DNFs or so to this point. Oh, here's some hairpins. See how we do with those in the rear wheel drive. You would think it would be easier with a rear wheel drive car, but it's sometimes tough to keep the momentum up. Yeah, lots of DNFs here, and I'm just trying not to be one of them. Part of that unforgivingness of Greece. So that's kind of all of Rally. Unforgiving. A little bit bogged down there. Overall, we've been doing all right with the hairpins. Well, we were. Oh, man. It takes forever to get going again. Stage three was our undoing. 
And yeah, say we're probably going to end up in the 15th or so range now. Unless a lot of people struggled here. I don't think this is really that difficult of a stage. I think I'm just screwing it up. Oh, that's right. This weird cute thing at the end. 415. Not very good. Not very good. Well, I don't really know, but I have a feeling it's not very good. <laughs> oh, 38 back. Yeah. Not too swell. So my best here was a 347, and that was a 415. So not, not great. Oh, well. Oh, well. Let's see where we end up. It is going to be 13th. That's really not very bad at all, considering... That's a shame. If not for the mistakes in, in the third one, we probably could have been top 10 here. Well, you know what? To be honest, Crease is my worst, my worst location, so I'm going to say that I'm still pretty darn proud of that result. We are in good company. We beat Ducks, beat my brother. That's always important because, you know, he, he basically doesn't play racing games, so uh, if I got beat by him, that would be embarrassing. And uh, we did beat Kurt. I haven't seen his video yet, but I'm going to guess he struggled. But hey, he got a cool time. He's got a 1-3-3-7 time, so he's leaked. That's going to do it for this time on the Conelanders Racing League. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for joining. And I will see you next week in Germany.